हेलो 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 साय गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग साय कीर्तना साय कीर्तना यस सर यस यस सो वेयर इज ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स अनदर स्टूडेंट्स दोनों सर आई मैसेज इन ग्रुप हां यस इमीडिएटली सेंड द मैसेज Uh, waiting. हेलो हेलो यस मे स्टार्ट ओके सर स्टार्ट रियली ओनली हाउ मेनी मेंबर्स आर जॉइनड एस्टरडे एंड डे बिफोर एस्टरडे 20 मेंबर्स सर 20 अरे व्हाट हैपेंड दोनों सर दे आर आस्किंग लिंक सर 
उसमें लिंक है सेम लिंक है मां सेम लिंक है ओके सर सेम लिंक है ओके सर गुड इवनिंग सर प्लीज सेंड द मैसेज इन योर ग्रुप ओके ओके सर ऑलरेडी पेटर हो रहा हूं हम्म पेटर सर चलो ये हो कीर्तन एंड भवन
Hmm. Okay, listen here to all of you. Yeah. So today we are going to discuss. So this is uh, here I am sharing one PPT. You know, this is you know diversity audible. Yes, Hello? sir. Yes. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, please, sir. Uh, Listen here to all of you. Just one minute. Lighty Karnia. Yes, now clear? Audible? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, so today we are going to discuss. So, this is uh, in paper score seventh. Yeah? Ha, sir. That is a uh, fungus. Means so uh, that name is, the course name is uh, Diversity, Taxonomy, and Utilization of Fungus. Okay, in that one, now you are going to discuss general account and diversity of diversity of fungus. Okay, okay. you know, here okay. the second one already you know very well. So, entire the plant kingdom are divided in mainly two categories number one is cryptograms. Number two is phenerograms. Phenerograms or another name that is in spermatophyta. Second one is spermatophyta. Already you know very well. Now I am not doing the detail about in the cryptograms. The, again, the cryptograms are divided in three categories. One it is in thallophyta and bryophyta and that is in pteridophyta. Okay. So now you see again that thallophyta is divided in two parts. One it is in algae and second one is fungus. Okay. So now we are going to discuss about the fungus. So before going that one, so the fungus, what is the meaning of the fungus already? So you know very well, the fungus means, see now the second one, this is in, the term fungus is derived from the Greek word. That is in Greek word, spongies, meaning sponge-like. It refers to a soft, fleshy sponge like fruit bodies because that is in mushrooms okay so what is the meaning of the fungus fungus means always it is in sponge like structures means one stalk like structures is there above so it is in one umbrella shape umbrella shape uh, structures is there we call that is in mushrooms Study of fungi called in mycology. Mycos meaning mushrooms. Logos means science. Studying of mushrooms, mushrooms like structures, we call that is in mycology. So, next to second point, uh, another one more point of two fungi identifications the fungi are specialized non chlorophyll this is the most important so you see all the fungus are heterotrophs except fungus is heterotrophs why means the fungus are not contain chlorophyll that's why this is in a chloro a chlorophyll heterotropic heterotropic means the fungus always depending on where the host there is no host, there is no fungus. Okay. And next one, 
eukaryotic organisms mean this is in advance eukaryotic means see generally the cell are two types one it is in prokaryotic second one that is in eukaryotic so eukaryotic means where the nucleus center part of the nucleus above the nucleus one cover like structures is there we call that is in eukaryotic here the fungus that is in eukaryotic with hyphae hyphae means one vegetative structures is there possessing cell wall generally made up made up of fungal chitin okay this is the most important here the fungus cell wall cell wall is made up of that is a chitin and uh, the reproductive structures both vegetative is there and uh, asexual is there and sexual is there the spores characters uh, means the fungal uh, reproductive spores are uh, we are looking different type of the characters in for the each group so the fungi constitute a living organisms divided a chlorophyll or other photosynthetic pigments and their cell have definite wall okay so next point the fungi are cosmopolitan distributions so the fungus we are looking most of world wise they are found growing in all substrates means in all the places in all the places we are looking with some organic matter and where the moistures they are found in water soil and decaying plant and animal parts in all most all all the places cosmopolitan the entire the world wise from arctic and antarctic temperate zones semi tropical and tropical in all the areas where the aquatic and different type of the places also we are like to the fungus the next so the fungi include water mold okay another example there is a yeast looking like a black green and blue powdery mildews cup like fungus and uh, rust like okay and smuds jelly fungi and uh, bracket fungi puff balls mushrooms and uh, next one nest like structures different type of the shapes different type of the structures so we are looking the fungus and one more important the fungus always sometimes it is a association with other living organisms the fungus association with other living organisms so if uh, we are looking the type of the structures we call that is in lichens and here one more important that the in higher plants in higher plants the fungus is association with the roots okay uh, the symbiotic association with the roots or higher plants to form specialized structures so we call we call that is in mycorrhiza understand all of you hello yes sir yes sir okay yes sir ah uh, yes so next now you see what is the importance of fungus okay the fungi are most important in everyday human life the fungi are important decomposers in most ecosystems fungi as a food play role in the human nutritions in the form of mushrooms and also agents of fermentations in the production of bread cheese alcoholic beverages and numerous other food preparations the fungus is most and most important to human life the fungus we are using different type of the industries and the medicinal industries alcoholic industries beverages industries and cheese industries different type of the industries we are uh, we are uh, we are using the fungus next they play an important role in the medicine particularly you know very well so that is of in penicillin is a famous antibiotic okay antibiotic in agriculture by the maintaining soil fertility soil fertility it is consumed as a food and also form of basis of many industries some of the species fungi also produce that is a some toxic some toxic substance known as for example that is in mycotoxins so 
yeast used in generally uh, the bakery industries. The bakery industries, the yeast are using so uh, in alcoholic uh, industry also we are using the yeast. So edible fungi, some of the fungi are edible, that is an agaricus and other some dishes. So some of the mushrooms are also in poisonous, poisonous fungi also we are looking in the, some of the mushrooms. The fungi are source of production in antibiotic, particularly that is a penicillin, uh, clavicips. This is also one of the most important fungus. So that is uh, produced the alkaloids and growth hormones, gibberellins, organic acids, that is a for plumeric, lactic, citric enzymes. Okay. So cellulose and lactase enzymes. So generally, that is of vitamins in riboflavins. So the fungus. So we are using the different type of the sections. And uh, fungi such as uh, caterpillar fungi, caterpillar fungi with parasite insects means the fungus developed above the some of the parasites can be extremely useful for the controlling insect pits of the crabs. The spores of the fungi spread on the crop pits. Fungi have been used to the control polaridio potato beetles. So this is of the importance a uh, little bit uh, fungi. And next now you see already you know very well this is the thallophytic groups. Generally, cryptograms, thallophytic groups means thallus. Thallus means this is undifferentiated plant. No proper root system, stem system, leaf systems. So we are not looking these three characters. That's why so we call this is a thallus and differentiated plant. Okay. So now we are going to the thallus organization in fungus. The vegetative body of the fungal is thylite, not differentiated root, stem, and leaves. The thallus of the fungi mainly two types. One it is in unicellular thallus. Second one is filamentous thallus. Okay. The thallus generally organization it is in a two types. One it is in unicellular. Unicellular means only single structure is there. Okay, round single structure is there. We call that is in unicellulars. Second one is filamentous vegetative branch structures is there. We call that is in filamentous type. Okay. So unicellular fungi are mainly among where the juosporic fungi. Juosporic means later we will discuss in what is juosporic fungi and uh, Ascomycetes, for example, Synchytium, Endobiaticum, and Catidiomycetes, etc. These are all the fungus are unicellular fungus. And the next second one, filamentous. Almost all 80% to 90% of the fungus are filamentous thallus. Okay, filamentous means one vegetative structure is there. We call that is in filamentous type. The mycelium of majority fungi of a filamentous type. All the uh, so one is unicellular, second one that is in filamentous type. And next now we see here. So the two important points is there here. One it is in holocarpic, second one that is in monocentric. In all the unicellular forms are holocarpic thallus. Okay. Means the fungus when it is going to the reproduction system. Okay. When the fungus is going to forms or holocarpic thallus function, as is branchium or gametanchium during the reproduction systems. Means entire the plant body are not participated when it is going to the reproduction systems. The plant body is germinated. One special type of the structures like uh, sporangium or gametangiums. These type of the fungus we call that is in holocarpic. Particularly 
one of the portions one of the sections one of the part is going to participated when it is going to the reproduction systems similarly second one that is eucarpic and polycentric this is also most important the thallus of other unicellular fungi is differentiated into vegetative and reproductive portions which thallus is called in eucarpic we call that is in polycentric yeah second point and one more is there that is of unis uh, unicellular fungus the yeast daughter cells are formed by the budding do not detach immediately and form of chain giving the appearance of hyphae such mycelium we call that is in pseudo mycelium means when this uh, fungus when this yeast is going to reproduction systems the body formation one special type of the special type of the structures okay so these structures it is not immediately detached to where the mother cells so after some times uh, it is uh, detached to the mother cells so before that one we call that is in pseudo mycelium pseudo mycelium generally the fungus plant body we call that is in mycelium but here this is not true developed mycelium that's why we call this is in pseudo mycelium okay and next now you see here the unicellular fungi are cell wall but sometimes vegetative phase free living multi nucleate amoeboid mass protoplasms without cell wall plasmodium we call this is in mixomycetes so you see so before just now i completed here the fungi cell wall chitin is there two cell wall chitin is there some of the fungi some of the fungus unicellular fungi there is no true cell wall there is no proper true cell wall in shop cell wall so here we are looking plasmodium structures plasmodium structures so we call this is in mixomycetes mixomycetes fungi where the mixomycetes fungi is there there is no proper cell wall structures so we call that is in plasmodiums and next point dimorphic fungi dimorphic means the fungi that can be exist in the form of both that is of mold and is dimorphic this uh, often used the general reference of fungi being able switch between the yeast filament cells but is not necessary uh, limiting more shapes dimorphic different type of the shapes is there so for example now we are looking one round like structures so just after sometimes that shape is changed so we call that is in di morphic fungis so this is the thallus organization of fungi is it clear please anybody respond yes sir yes sir how, yes how many types of thallus in fungi two types sir unicellular and filamentous very good yes. the majority of the fungi filamentous uh, sir very good mm. what is the meaning of holocarpic single uh, cell okay, is not one yeah, section yeah. is entire body is not participate in the reproduction reproduction sir. okay okay now you see so this is here i am sharing one slide one it is in unicellular thallus that is in yeast another one that is in filamentous type in mucor okay so now you see here this is of in holocarpic and a uh, second one that is in eucarpic and uh, here one more important point is there so where the filamentous thallus this filamentous thallus it is the two types is there one it is in separate second one is a separate okay separate means branches like structures is there okay and uh, second one is a separate there is no branches means the nucleus is goes to 
entire the sections, entire the vegetative thallus. These type of the thallus we call that is in xenocytic mycelium. Is it clear? Xenocytic mycelium. What is the meaning of xenocytic mycelium? Where the acetate mycelium is there, we call that is in xenocytic mycelium. See now here, here I am showing one more that is of in xenocytic and a second one that is in uh, acetate and acetate. Yeah. Yes. So next to cell and cell wall structures. So the vegetative cell, the vegetative cell of fungi is typically already uh, completed. It is all eukaryotic with the major structural components. The structural with typical fungal cell includes one, it is in a cell wall. Second one is plasma membrane. And uh, next one that is a nucleus. So other rest of the portions already you know very well. That is in mitochondria is there, endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes, Golgi apparatus, and uh, lomosomes, lysosomes, vacuoles, cell inclusions, microtubules, and uh, microbodies. In all the structures we are looking inside the fungal cell. Okay. So next now you see here the cell wall. Cell wall is made up of cell wall is made up of 80 to 90 percent is polysaccharides, 1 to 15 percent is a proteins, and uh, next point that is in 2 to 10 percent of lipids. All type of molecules. The cell wall is made up of different type of the molecules, that is the polysaccharides and proteins and lipids. Different type of the molecules you are looking. So where the fungal cell. The fungal cell wall comprises most of the plants in dry weight and composed of primary of three polymer components. That is of in cellulose is there, hemicellulose and lignin. Where the dry plant is generally contains 40 to 50 percent of cellulose. Next point that is in 15 to 25 percent of hemicellulose and 20 to 25 percent of lignin. So this is not in accurate. So depending on the fungal cell, so sometimes it is in 25 to 30 uh, percent lignin or uh, 20 to 20, 30 percent of hemicellular, depending on the this of general numbers and uh, uh, 5 to 10 percent all other components, so all type of the molecules. So, so we are looking at the fungal cell. And next one. Uh, the development of fungus, development of hyphal growth. Okay, so the hyphae growth always, the hyphae growth always it is in uh, polarized. Polarized means so, for example, so where the vegetative structures, this tip of the section we call that is in polarized hyphae growing only tip. So the development we are looking at only where the tip of the section, tip of the branches. The IFL SX more or less divided are most cellular. So inclusions except for the large number of cytoplasmic vesicles that thought the function of IFL tip in growth. Means the development, the development we are looking in only so where the tip of the sections, tip of the branches. So now you see here some of the fungi is produced some specialized, special type of the structures. Some of the fungus, okay, germinated. It is produced to some special type of the structures. We call that is in rhizoids. Means it is in root-like structure system. And uh, rhizomorphs, apressoria, and hasturias, and uh, hyphophodia. So these are all the different type of the structures here. For example, so we know very well when we are looking in the jowar. So in between the jowar spike, one block structures is there. So we call that is in claviceps. Means different type of the fungus. So we are sometimes it is produced to different type of the structures. Uh, that is a uh, rhizoids and astorias, claviceps like that. Okay. So this is the cell and uh, cell wall structures. 
so here yeah, now you see here i am showing one fungal uh, cell structure is there okay uh, one is a cell wall other one that is in protoplasm so this uh, cell wall is contain different type of the molecules so the protoplasm is contained so you see you now already we know very well there is a fungi bodies so ribosomes and lysosomes and all type of the substances are lacking in this one so now you see here this is a fungal cell wall so uh, here we are lacking three layers is there three layers in between so there we are lacking some proteins there we are lacking some protein type of the structures so this is the fungal cell structures yes so next now you see here nutrition of the fungus so means so you see here already you know very well fungus means it is in depending on where the host there is no host there is no fungus always the fungus okay depending on the host that's why these fungus based on the nutrition it is divided three categories number 1 it is in parasites number 2 that is in saprophytes number 3 that is in symbiotic okay three types is there uh, almost all oh, 100% all the fungi are heterotrophs all the fungi are that is in heterotrophs so the life size heterotrophs and depend externally supply mode of food the fungi group in three categories number 1 it is in parasites so parasites means it is depending on the host okay some of the some of them can live in only living living only on living protoplasm and they are known as obligate parasites they cannot grow in culture medium in labs parasites means depending on the host because that is in parasites but in that parasites in that parasites obligate parasites is there the obligate parasites cannot grow in the cultures means uh, our uh, laboratories so we call that is in obligate parasites and one more is there that is of in biotraps some of the obligate parasites culture in laboratory okay you see obligate parasites means they cannot grow in culture medium in laboratory okay and some of the fungi some of the fungi is uh, uh some of the obligate parasites culture in our laboratory particularly that type of the fungus we call here it is in biotraps okay yes now you see this uh, parasite generally it is a two types is there one it is in ectoparasites second one that is in endo parasites yeah okay very well what is a parasites please respond anyone which are depend on others yes that is pa obligate parasites and biotraps what is the meaning of biotraps in the short question purpose biotraps means culture in the lab yes very good how many types of parasites is there two two types is there ectoparasite and endoparasite Endo. what is the meaning of an ecto ecto means you see for example this is one cell inside develop in the fungi we call that is ecto outside means not entire the outside okay so where the intracellular spaces is there in between intracellular spaces uh, in the development of fungi we call that is endoparasites so this is in parasites is to okay now second one that is in saprophytic fungi some of the fungi grow on dead organic matter on the absence of living host okay they are called in faculty to saprophytes saprophyte means it is growing in only where the dead decaying matters dead organic matters okay so some of the saprophytic fungi 
if there is no living host so any spite of it is growing generally saprophyte means the fungi growing in only dead organic matter okay but there is no dead organic matter any spite of that fungus are developed that fungus are they are growing so we call that is in facilitate you saprophytes is it okay now okay see now they divided the derived the food from decaying organic matter the saprophytes may be obligate or facilitate you saprophytes yeah next one now you see third one that is in symbiotic associations so what is the meaning of in symbiotic association they share food and shelter yes the one fungi is association fungi is association with other organisms other living organisms so we call that is in call that is in symbiotic example it is in lichens okay lichens three types is there based on the nutrition parasitic saprophytic and symbiotic yeah yes so next now you see the reproduction system reproduction system of entire the fungus okay so here so we are looking vegetative reproduction system and uh, asexual reproduction system and uh, sexual reproduction systems three types is there <coughs> three types is there entire the uh, uh, fungus reproduction systems so number one it is in vegetative reproduction systems so please tell me anybody what is the vegetative reproduction system no fusion of gametes very good so here now you see that is a uh, one it is in fragmentations so second one that is in fusion third one that is in budding fourth one that is in sclerotia and the fifth one that is in oidiums so these are all the vegetative reproduction systems some books are given some people are saying budding it is asexual reproduction systems okay whatever it may be so that is a vegetative reproduction system when the break rest of the portions automatically it is produced into the new plant that is in vegetative unfavorable conditions the body modified as a one special type of the structures okay so we call that is in sclerotia other idioms we call that is in vegetative reproduction systems yeah so next to second one asexual reproduction systems So, what is the meaning of an asexual reproduction system? Spores. Yes. Formation of spores. Plant body is germinated. Plant body is produced. One special type of the special type of the spores we call that is in asexual reproduction systems. Takes place by the different type of spores, which are uh, usually that is a. Uh, Well, that is of in small and uh, unicellular. They are produced from parental cells by the methods other than sex cells. So already you know very well that is of in sporangiospores and uh, aplanospores and conidias. Three types is there. One it is in sporangiospores. means the sporangium is produced to the sporangiospores asexual reproduction systems so here that is often aplanospores is there and second one that is in zoospores is there asexual reproduction system means there is no interaction between plus and minus we call that is in asexual reproduction systems so entire the plant body or some of the or some of the portions it germinated one special type of the structures okay so we call that is in 
sporangiospores. So that sporangiospores is so one. It is in aplanospores. Aplanospores means which is not contain the flagella. We call that is in aplanospores. And uh, next one that is in juice spores. So which is the contain the flagella like structures? We call that is in juice spores. So aplanospores means it is not going to. So in uh, other juice spores, why the flagella is goes to? So one section to other sections. So this is the in asexual reproduction systems. So and the next point, the sexual reproduction systems. The process of sexual reproduction systems. So here it is the uh, most important. The sexual reproduction systems almost all. So in all the uh, fungus, uh, we are looking in sexual reproduction systems. But uh, where the in higher fungi, Deuteromycotina, okay, there is no sexual reproduction systems. So uh, there we are looking in only asexual reproduction systems. So we'll discuss in later that is uh, here. The process of sexual reproduction system is completely three distinct phases. One it is in plasmogamy, second one is karyogamy, and third one that is in meiosis. Okay. So when you are studying in the fungus sexual reproduction systems, here it is in three sections is there. Number one is plasmogamy. What is the meaning of in plasmogamy? Plasmo, liquid materials. Yeah. Gamay mm. means associations. The plasma mm. is goes to plasma is goes to one th thallus means one section to other sections. We call that is in plasmogamy. Sometimes, sometimes, so this plasma is comes to from here to here. Sometimes it comes to from here to here. Which one is giving? That is male. Which one is taking? That is in female. Means here we don't know which one is a male, which one is a females. The, so these type of the sections we call that is in plasmogamy. So before going that one, now you see here this is of in isogamy is there, anisogamy is there, and ugamy is there. Three types is isogamy means same type of the gametes. So we don't know male and female. Sometimes this one is giving material. Sometimes they are middle giving. From here to here, which one is a giving that is male, which one is a taking that is a females. So we call that is in plasmogamy. Okay. After a second, after when completed the plasmogamy, it goes to directly second stage. We call that is in karyogamy. We call that is in karyogamy. Karyo means nucleus. Gamy means associations. The nucleus is goes to one section to other sections. So there we are looking two nucleus is there. Okay. So immediately the nucleus is not going, not to close associations. So sometimes it takes some time. So that's why this stage we call that is in dikaryotic stage. This stage we are looking in only where the Paxinia graminus. Okay. The second stage that is in karyogamy. Yeah. And third one that is in meiosis. This is the process is there in sexual reproduction systems. Total three sections is there, plasmogamy, karyogamy, meiosis. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. How many sections is there? Yes. How many parts is there? In sexual Please. reproduction system, huh? Plasmogamy, karyogamy, and meiosis. Very good. Okay, yes. na? This is important to describe the sexual reproduction system in fungus. Okay. Uh, yes. And one more important point when we're studying in sexual reproduction system, the fungi may be monoecious, means bisexual. Second one that is in dioecious, means unisexual. Okay. Here, the monoecious fungi, fungi are called. Homothalic fungi. Okay. Second one that is in heterothalic fungi. Dioecious fungi are differentiated as a male and female thallus. Such thallus are sexually self sterile. So, can understand all of you? 
the single thallus of dioecious species cannot reproduce by sexual method they require another compatible thallus of different mating type of sexual reproduction systems they are heterothallic here two points is most important homothallic means for example now you see that is a rhizopus so this one is this hind for example this one is rhizopus and here also we are looking one more rhizopus this both rhizopus are not going to the sexual reproduction systems here only you see the plant body is physically are same sexually differ this type of the reproduction systems we are looking in uh, rhizopus in neocarp this is discovered by black and c one it is in homothallic second one that is in heterothallic is it okay now yes sir yeah yes sir uh, in short question this one is important uh, homothallic and heterothallic yeah okay. next one the sex organs are called in gametangia the sex organs are called in gametangia the plasmogamy takes place by the different method one it is in means so of plasmogamy karyogamy meiosis and again the reproduction the reproductive parts we call that is in gametangia okay so here uh, planogametic copulation and second one that is in gametangial contact gametangial copulations spermatizations and somatogamy plasmogamy takes place by the different methods different type of the methods okay one it is in plasmogametic copulations second one that is in gametangial contact and third one that is in gametangial copulations and uh, spermatizations so next point that is in just one minute here okay so one it is in so first one here this one that is in planogametic copulations what is the meaning of in planogametic copulations the motile or nectar gametes are called planogametes motile and nectar gametes we call that is in plano gametes their fusion is called of plano gametic copulations the fusing gametes may be iso gametes or anaiso gametes we call that is in plano gametic copulations copulations are different contact or different second point is gametangial contact contact means so when the gametangia is coming together we call that is in gametangial contact means here during this process the male and female gametangia come in contact with the each other and the nucleus form male gametangia that is in antheridia so the processes of or to the female gametangia we call that is it oogoniums Ugonium. either oogoniums okay here you see that is a variation of planogametic copulations where the isogametes is there that is in planogametic copulations so here gametangial contact means so here we know very well so we know very well one it is in male reproductive organ second one that is in female reproductive organs okay so that is in gametangial contact similarly so third one that is in gametangial copulations okay so the gametangial copulation during this process the complete material means cytoplasm and nucleus 
male and female gametangium fuse together we call that is in gametangial copulations and uh, next one that is in spermatizations so it is found new members of in ascomycotina and uh, that is a basidiomycotina means uh, when we are studying in see already you know very well zygomycotina and uh, mas mastigomycotina zygomycotina ascomycotina basidiomycotina deuteromycotina five types is there where the basidiomycotina the sexual reproduction system is absent when the spores is comes to outside entire the sporangium chamber entire the area it goes to where the host when entered in the host particularly one of the cell one of the spores is modified as a one special type of the structures so we call that is in spermatization spermatizations okay so we call that is in a spermatizations so here in fond of few members of in ascomycotina or basidiomycotina during this process on the members of produce non motile male cells is called of spermatia which become detached with the receptive hyphae and through this hyphae come in contact with the female gametangias so that is of in spermatizations i next so last one that is in somatogamy so somatogamy means so it is also occur in the members of in ascomycotina and basidiomycotina in this process the nucleus of two normal cells fuse to the complete act as a uh, reproductions resulting the formation of zygote which is also called in zygospores or o spores so that is of in somatogamy understand yeah yes sir Yes, what sir. is planogametic copulation gametangial contact gametangial copulation spermatization somatogamy okay so where plasmogamy takes place by the different methods yeah and next now you see the fungi producer sir okka nimsham ऑलसो pen this is also pen or white or red okay both are working same yeah mm. so physically physically same physically same. same when you are writing this is red this is black okay where the sexually differ we call that is in heterothallic okay homothallic means same type of the fungi not going to the reproduction systems is okay. fungi is going to the reproduction system another another fungi so okay. these fungus also going to the another fungi so both okay. are same we call that is in homothallic okay physically same where the sexually differ that is in heterothallic okay. is it okay yes, thank you sir thank yeah. you sir yes yeah yeah yes, okay, okay. yes so next now you see fungi produce different type of the sex hormones okay so means uh, the female reproductive organs are produced to different type of the sexual reproductive hormones okay so that is a trisporic alpha factor like that okay. sir in homo uh, in homothallus means uh, will be having both sex organs on the same thallus sir male and female gametangia okay 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 but homo means see same type of the for example this two books is there two books are rhizopus okay sir. homothallic not going to the reproduction system okay sir. understand 
Yes, sir. Uh, yes. So next, now you see here. Uh, this is the sexual reproduction systems. After the the sexual reproduction systems, you see, uh, there are two. The sexual reproduction system already you know very well. So one it is in sporangia. Second one that is in. Second one, what is that one? Conidias. Planospores. And. Conidias. Aplanospores. Juice spores and aplanospores and conidias. Okay. Here, there are mainly two main types of conidia development. One it is in thallic development. Second one that is in blastic development. Okay. the development of asexual reproductive systems asexual reproductive systems which one that is in conidia conidia one it is in thallic development second one that is in blastic development so means when we are looking the fungus for example this one is a one of the fungus this one is one of the fungus but here this plant body germinated conidia asexual mm -hmm. reproduction systems okay mm -hmm. this conidia development is two types is there one it is in thallic development second one that is in blastic development is it okay the conidia conidia it is asexual reproductive organ this conidia development it is two types thallic development Second one is blastic development. Blast. Is it okay? Okay, sir. Yes. Thallic conidiogenesis, where the first cross wall appears, and this is the created cell develops into the spores. Holothallic and second one that is of endothallic. Wall appears, and this the created cell develops into the spores. So. means second one blastic where the spores is already evident before it separates from the conidiogenic hyphae which is giving rise to holoblastic and endoblastic wall layers or conidiogenous cells are involved in the formation of conidium wall endothallic only Inner wall becomes part of the conidial wall. Blastic, holoblastic, and endoblastic. So this is the originate of in conidia. So here now you see, I'm showing the one of the diagrams that is of in conidian development of thallic and blastic development. Okay, so these are all the some asexual reproductive. Uh, Organisms is there. Yes. So next one, and one other is a uh, more important. That is of it. Parasexual cycles means the zygomycota. We are looking in sexual reproduction system. Mastogomycota also you are looking sexual reproduction system. Ascomycota also same. And uh, basidio mycotina, dutio mycotina, absence of totally sexual reproduction systems, absence of sexual reproduction systems. See here, the fungi is going to simple to complex. So when you are going to the complex, the totally sexual reproduction system is absent. Okay, that's why we call this is in parasexual cycles. About the eighty percent of the fungal belongs to dutio mycotina. in this fungi the sexual reproduction system is very rare sometimes is totally absent in the life cycles some fungi where the morphological differentiate in the sex organs are not produced and interaction takes place between two opposite strains of mycelia resulting in sexual reproduction systems that is of heterokaryosis two different nucleus are present in the same cell the parasexuality is an important phenomena where the parasitic genetic recombinations takes place in the fungi without undergoing the sexual reproduction system by the mitotic crossing over 
occurs in hybridizations. So following the step that is of heterocaryo, heterocaryon formations, formation of heterozygous, occasionally metatic crossing over during the multiplications of diploid nucleus, occasionally haploid through the aneuploid. So we call this is in parasexual life cycles. So our next one that is of heterocaryon formations. Understand to all of you what is the meaning of in parasexuality? Please respond anyone. What is parasexual cycle? See, total five is there. Mastogomycotina, Digo, Asco, Basidio, Deuteromycotina. Okay, now we are going to one, two, three, four, five. Okay, the fifth one is advanced. This is primitive. In primitive, we are looking in sexual reproduction system. In advanced, mm. there is no sexual reproduction systems. Is it okay now? Okay, means so when you are going to from here to here, decline of reproduction systems. We call this is in parasexual cycles. We call this is in parasexual cycles. When you are going to in higher, there is no reproduction systems. Digomycotina, ascomycotina. Okay. Bestidio. It is produced in only spores. There is no reproduction systems. Already you know very well. Coccinia graminus. Life cycle is complete in the five spores. Okay. Pycnidio spores, SL spores, and Eurydio uh, spores, Telito spores, and Bestidio spores. Five types of the spores is there. Five types of spores. There is no any special type of sexual reproductive organs. But these type of the systems we call that is in parasexual cycles. Okay. The and uh, where the when you are going to the vestigial mycotina, so there we are looking heterocaryon formations. This is achieved the most commonly by the anastomosis between the hyphae of different is rarely by the mutations. The second point that is of in, next point, the formation of heterozygous, the nuclear fusion between dissimilar nucleus in a heterokaryotic somatic cell result in the formation of heterozygous diploid nucleus. Occasionally metartic crossing over the during multiplication of diploid nucleus. And next point that is of in, metartic crossing over this is the most of important key event in parasexual cycle during which the genetic recombination takes place. Haploidizations through the aneuploid, the diploid nucleus give rise to haploid nucleus by the gradually loss of chromosomes during the successive mitotic divisions. Phenomena is called of haploidizations. So this is of in parasexual life cycle in the fungus. Understand all of you? Yes, sir. Sir, yeah? sir ma mastigomycotina is advanced one or uh, primitive one, sir? Primitive, primitive, primitive. Okay. okay. Mastigo, jaigo, asco, basidio, basidio, tutero. 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 It is advanced okay. one. No. Advanced means, so you see divisions. Divisions are five types is there. In mm. when we are looking in this one, basidio, utero, utero mycotina is total absent of reproduction system. There we are looking in only asexual reproduction systems, only conidias, only conidias we are looking. Is it okay now? Okay. okay yes. Sir, so next you. now you see life cycle of fungi. Here generally five types of life cycles of fungi. Uh, five types of uh, life cycles are found in fungi. One, it is in asexual reproduction system, haploid, uh, as, uh, haploid life cycles, haploid and dicaryotic yes, life cycles, haploid diploid life cycles, and diploid life cycles. Okay. Mm -hmm. One, it is in asexual reproductive, asexual, sorry, asexual life cycle. Already I told where the uteromycotina. Sexual reproduction is 
apparently uh, lacking and diploid is restricted in somatic stage entire the group is known as imperfect fungi because that is in deuteromycotina there we are looking in only as sexual life cycles there is no sexual life cycles we call that is in imperfect fungi is it okay now okay so next point that is often haploid the life cycle is completely haploid meiosis immediately phylo nuclear fusion diploid phase restricted to zygote nucleus and of uh, minimal durations that is of in myocar and uh, shigo um, that is of saccharomyces so we call that is in haploid the so next point that is of in haploid and dicaryotic dicaryo phase is more extensive and independent of haploid phase that is of aspergillus and uh, other one and next one that is of haploid and diploid both phase mm -hmm. alternate regularly that is of saccharomyces diploid completely diploid and haploid phase and restricted to gametangial yeah, phase that is of saccharomyces so here this mm -hmm. of in life cycles uh, Fung. fungus okay next to what is a systematic positions systematic position classifications systematic positions means it is only classifications the fungi were placed under the kingdom plantae in their earlier classifications they were classified under thallophyta eichler when it is in 1866 after the eichler the fungi were included in third kingdom that is protista along with algae so next one or uh, fungi are separated that is a fungi included bacteria lichens and myxomycetes and the uh, next uh, another scientist divided in four classes that is of in phycomycetes ascomycetes basidiomycetes so now we are all are followed in 1973 his name is answorth uh, classification this is the most important classifications so it is classified broadly into myxomycotina and uh, sir one small doubt ah uh, yes haploid and uh, dicaryotic means haploid what is the meaning of an haploid plant body uh, haploid yes. and uh, dicaryotic stage means the uh, nucleus okay the nucleus uh, so nucleus is there there is the vaccinia graminas mm. so we are looking dicaryophase okay generally we are looking in only one nucleus okay in all fungi uh, in, all, in all fungi in other in all, okay. other than fungi also we are looking in only one okay. nucleus okay but here what happens we are looking two, two nucleus two hmm. nucleus particularly only hmm. that type hmm. of the fungi okay that type of the fungi where the aspergillus are other where is this uh, you know vaccinia Okay, that is in dicaryotic state, dicaryotic life cycles. Okay. Dicaryotic, we are not looking any other fungi, other not only fungus in other also. Okay. Dicaryotic, we are looking only particularly rare fungi. That's why that is often haploid and dicaryotic. Okay, always in cells, dicaryotic cells. Yes, yes. Okay, sir. thank you. Okay, so next now you see. Answorth is classified two types, two stages. Now, most important, we are all are followed uh, Answorth classifications. One it is in Mixomycota. Second one that is in Eumycota. Okay, Mixomycota, false fungi. Eumycota, true fungi. What is the meaning of in Mixomycota? False Slide. fungi means. No cell wall is absent. Yes, that is important. False fungi means absence of cell wall. But instead of cell wall, we are looking in one special structure is there. We call that is in plasmodium. Plasmodium. Instead of cell wall, instead of cell wall, okay, 
We are looking that is in plasmodium. Is it okay now? Yes, sir. Yes. Next point. Second one is true. True fungi. Which one that is in? You my quota. You my quota. You my quota. Ends for. Entire the for entire the fungus are classified. How many? Five types. Oh no 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 no. Two types. Okay, two types. Five. Ah. Two types. Entire the fungus groups are divided in two. Two types. One it is in. You my quota. Mixio my quota. You my quota. Mixio my quota and you my quota. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Many types. Two types. Two types. One is mixio mycota. Mixio mycota means no cell wall, absence of cell wall. Oh, false, false fungi. False fungi. Ah. Oh. Second one is mixio mycota. True fungi. Means cell wall is rigid. Cell wall is present. You say only false fungi, true fungi. That is an a one word answer. Okay, sir. Exomycota means false fungi. Eumycota means true fungi. True fungi. Yes. Okay. 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 Here, eumycota. Yes, uh, eumycota. Okay, now false fungi that is of a mix of mycota, absence of cell wall. Instead of cell wall, we are looking that is plasmodium. Now, eumycota. This is divided. This is divided five divisions. Okay. Mm. Thank you. Yes, assimilative phase typically the five mycelium is present, so they divide into five divisions. First one is mastigo, mastigo. Second one is zygomycotina, ascomycotina, decidio, Five types is there. Mastigo means motile cells is there, juice pores is there, motile cells, juice pores is there, that is it. Mastigo mycotina. Okay. Okay. Next point. Digo mycotina. Non suppurate mycelium is sinocytic. Non suppurate mycelium is sinocytic. That is digo mycotina. Zygos. Mastigo mycotina means juice pores is there. Motile cell juice pores is there. Digo mycotina that is of non suppurate mycelium is sinocytic. Is it okay now? Sir, sinocytic means without septate, no, sir? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, septate. You know, a separate. No separation. A separate. Oh. That is sinocytic. Non separate mm -hmm. mycelium. Okay. Next one, ascomycotina. How can we identify an ascomycotina? The plant body is produced, fruiting bodies, generally known as an ascocarp. Where the fruiting bodies is there. These are all the identification characters. But I am showing one slide. There is no flagellas is there. Okay. So there we are looking in flagellas is there. Where the flagellas that is juice spores. Where the apnea spores is that zygomycotina. Where the fruiting bodies is there. Fruiting bodies. That is in ascomycotina. Residue mycotina, club fungi, sexual process starts with two different cells of the same thallus. Or two sexually differ thallus belonging to primary mycelium by means of fusion. That is in residue mycotina. Last one that is of a vitro mycotina. Cells without or with or without pseudomycelium characteristics, true mycelium lacking or not well developed. So this stuff in utero mycotina. Yeah. So now here I am showing one short kingdom of uh, fungi, mixomycotina and uh, eumycotina. So again, this mixomycotina is divided uh, four types is there. So, but uh, this no need of in four times, but five types is uh, most important.
the produce of zoo spores sexual spores of zygospores sexual spores of ascospores sexual spores of basidiospores sexual reproduction is uh, are not absent that is of utero mycotina next i know you see in the fungal diversity what is the meaning of diversity variations of it variations the fungi constitute a large group of organisms found in virtually every ecological niche they known as colonize multiply and survive in diversified habitats means already this now i told so some of the fungus is growing in only where the soil some of the fungus is growing in only where the water where the soil different type of the places we are looking so that is the first one soil fungi what is the meaning of the soil fungi natural it's la Hmm. growth in the soil. fungi are growing fungi hmm. are growing where the soil okay surface of organic matter or the soil that is in soil fungi soil fungi yes second point that is of in below plane or litter below fungi plane. means dead or uh... means Seed. seed inside the seed. Seed, seed. Mm. seed means spores spores mm. yes. where the spores we call that is in seed born fungi okay so next point water fungi means found the number of different groups of fungi found in the water, in the water. Yes, that sir. is a fungisporic fungi means mastigomycotina zygomycotina ascomycotina utero and yeast and few of basidiomycotina the fungus are growing where the water is to okay now next to phyllobulus fungi the fungi growing where the grazing animals where the grazing animals that is of in phyllobulus fungi next one that is of in keratinophilus keratinophilus fungi the group of fungi that colonize various or mm -hmm. keratinoseous substance degrading them of components of low molecular weight these include a variety of filamentous fungi comprising mainly hyphomycetes and several other taxonomic groups okay so this is a all the fungal diversity and next now we see the fungi is extreme environments the fungi it is a cosmopolitan distribution so we are looking in arctic zones and arctic zones tropical zones subtropical zones the temperature is one of the continental factor which determines the distribution of many fungi depending on the range of temperature and which they grow the classified that is of in cycrophils mesophils thermophils okay so first one that is of in cycrophil fungi they growing low temperatures low temperatures next one that is of in thermophils means it is in high temperatures 45 to 50 degree centigrade and halophilic fungi means where the sodium chloride their growth in sodium chloride 
that is of in extreme environments. Is it okay now? Yes, sir. Understand all of you? Yes, sir. Any doubt? This is all the general characters of fungi. Okay. Yes, sir. General account and diversity of fungi. Yes. Okay, sir. Now, how many types of asexual reproduction system? Karyogamy. Uh, oh no no no! What Enough. I am asking? Okay. Asexual reproduction system. Three types. Tell me what the first one. Conidio. Ah. Sporangio spores, haplodo spores, juice spores. Conidio spores. See, sporangio spores. Okay. Second one is. Haplodo spores. Yes. Juice spores. Juice spores. Okay. Sexual reproduction system. Three types. Not three types, three stages. Oh, three stages. One is? Plasmogamy. Yes. Yeah? Okay. Hmm? Any doubt? What is the meaning of sinocytic? Aseptate. Hmm. सेक्सुअल Two classes, sir. Oh no, you see, someone is asking Conidias. Yes. This, uh, sexual asexual. Which, huh? uh, which reproduction, sir? Sexual yes, or asexual? Yes. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Please okay. wait, wait. Any other one? Asexual. Other one, please tell me. Conidia, it is a sexual or asexual? Asexual, sir. Asexual. 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 Asexual, uh -huh. then there are four types of sexual, sexual reproduction systems sporangia spores, apnospores, and juice spores, conidias. Conidia is in both, sir. See here, the asexual reproduction system, okay, sporangia spores and conidias. Sporangia spores are conidias, okay, but sporangia spores. Two spores and aplanospores. Okay, okay, sir. Ah, now I understood. Okay, sir. Spores and aplanospores. Conidias okay. are separate. Ah, okay. Angiospores are separate. Okay, Both sir. Are asexual reproduction systems. Ah, so asexual reproduction system. There are two types. Hmm. In the two types, sporangiospores hmm. are and two types. Yes. Ah, okay. Aplanos aplanospores and juice spores. Ah, okay. okay. Subtypes, aplanospores and yes. juice. Ah, okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Any, any doubt? No, sir. Yeah. Okay. Can I leave now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. So again, we will meet on day after tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. हाँ यार